everyone. I'm in the school library today and we're going to read this story called Tickly Octopus. And this story is written by Ruth Galloway, just like Clumsy Crab and Fidgety Fish. So today we're going to find out all about the Tickly Octopus. And on the blurb on the back of the book, it says, Octopus has eight twisty tentacles and he loves using them to tickle the fish. But when one day Octopus tickles Oyster, she drops her precious pearl and it's lost. <gasps> oh no, I wonder what will happen when she loses her pearl. Let's see, and here there's an octopus tickling the starfish. <gasps> Down in the ocean, among the swirling seaweed and the colourful coral, lived a tickly octopus. He had eight twisty twirly tentacles and he loved to use them for tickling. When octopus tickled the little fish they jumped and jiggled and wriggled and giggled. They thought tickling was wonderful fun. But most of the creatures in the sea found his tickling tiresome. Do you know what that means? It means they don't like it and they're getting a bit bored. Octopus tickled starfish and made her squirm. <gasps> Stop it, she squeaked. Octopus tickled the clickety clackety crab and he tripped and tumbled into the sand. Go away, he snapped. But I'm a tickly octopus and I'm really good at tickling, said Octopus sadly. And he swam off to tickle the wriggly giggly fish again. Oh, poor octopus. He doesn't like get to do what he wants to do. One day, Octopus saw Oyster snoozing among the seashells. He couldn't resist giving her a teeny tiny tickle. But Oyster woke with a jump and dropped her precious pearl. <gasps> Bing, bit, boing! It bounced over the rocks and was swept away by the current. <gasps> oh no, gasped Octopus. Poor Oyster was very upset. Sorry, said Octopus. I'll get it back for you. Octopus raced through the water with a whoosh and a swoosh. Wee, he thought. I never knew I could be so super speedy. And there he is, shooting off. And here is where the pearl has gone. You can see it bouncing away down up to the bottom of the sea. Octopus followed the pearl as it tumbled down to the bottom of the sea. Wow, he thought. I never knew I could swim so deep. Watch the pearl bouncing. Boing, boing, boing. <gasps> What's going to happen to the pearl next? Do you think it might go inside this crack? At last, Octopus reached the pearl, but plink, plink, plop. Oyster's precious pearl bounced over the rocks and dropped down through a tiny gap in the ocean floor. Octopus squished and squashed and heaved and squeezed and managed to push his rubbery body through the gap. Ooh, he thought, I never knew I could be so squidgy. Three glinting eyes in the darkness. Oh, I've read that incorrectly. There, glinting in the darkness, was the smooth and shiny pearl. But just behind it was a fierce eel. <gasps> ah! squeaked Octopus. He quickly picked up the pearl and sped away. Give me that pearl, said the eel. <gasps> Octopus huffed and puffed as the eel chased after him. He'd swum such a long way and he was very tired. The eel was getting closer and closer. With a spurt and a squirt, a belch and a squelch, Octopus sprayed a cloud of black ink so that the eel couldn't see a thing. Wow, thought Octopus, I never knew I could be so inky. And he danced happily back to Oyster. Oyster was delighted to get her pearl back. I promise I won't ever tickle you again, Octopus said. I found lots of other things I'm good at doing too. From now on, I'm going to be a speedy, deep sea, squidgy, 
inky octopus. But I'll still be a little bit tickly too, he said. And there he is and everybody's happy. And now octopus knows that there are lots of lovely things he can do. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.